Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage and Fearless Services. Good morning. Today is, nope. Yeah, uh, Saturday, December the 16th, 2023 year of our Lord. Good morning. How you doing? Doing okay? In my life, the 365 Project. I'm going to go back to 2000. Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going back to 2000. So, years ago, my buddy, uh, Fred... His name is Rick Johnson. We, we call him Fred. Me and Fred were going to Sturgis, and we would always stop and spend the night in Valentine, Nebraska. And I still do. When I go to Sturgis, I still stop in Valentine. But we used to stay at this other hotel, and there was a little eating joint next door. And when we were in there, we were eating. They had a little uh, band playing. The place was packed. It must have been, it must have been having, I think this back then, it was a Friday. And it must have been having some uh, Friday night football or something. And we were in there and everybody's eating and talking and they had a little ragtag band in there playing, you know, a bunch of people playing. And nobody's, Play, and nobody's paying any attention to the band. And then the band played a song and the place went nuts. They all started singing and dancing and clapping. And it was like, oh my goodness, what is going on? And the song that they sang they brought the house down. I'll sing you a little piece of it. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. You remember the song Rocky Top? Why did they go nuts over that song? They brought the house down. They went, they went nuts over it. Excuse me for one second. They went nuts over that song. And every, every year when I go through Valentine, I think about that. Let's check that chunk. Check that chunk, you big old. Woo! Hey, look at that there. What you got? Well, those are some red tie-dye. Did you tie-dye those, Rick? Nope. These were a special edition that I bought from Converse. See, so I, a lot of these shoes I get from Converse.com. And they have a, a special program called a custom program. And you can order, you know, the different toes and the, the, the different colors and the badge and all that. So this is some red and black tie-dye, white nose, white so. What color is that? Kind of a red, a red, double red racing stripes, two vent holes, red and white, kind of a burnt red and white logo, white shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. I've had these shoes for years, but I'm going to say that this is the first time I've worn them. Hmm, what's going on there? These truly are, say it with me, some handsome chucks. Dad joke. You know, not to brag, but I'm a pretty big deal with my dogs. Don't you like the way a dog makes you feel when you come home? Or if you don't feel good, the dog wants to snuggle up with you. I snuggled up with Alice last night. 
I went home and went straight to bed. I didn't eat, I didn't do nothing. And old Alice just snuggled up next to me. I'm laying there and I got my hand and I'm just patting her. Slang. This slang goes back to the 30s. A mall, M-O-L-L. -L. Used to say like a gun mall. A mall, M-O-L-L, -L, is like a gangster's old lady, gangster's girlfriend. Remember saying the word a gun mall? She's a gun mall. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. When you reach the end of your rope, instead of falling off, why don't you tie a knot and hang out for a while? What does that mean, Rick Fairless? That means when you reach the end of your ropes, end of your rope, don't, don't lose it, man. Tie a knot and hang out. It means don't get to the end of the rope. Deal with it. Make the best of whatever situation you're in. That's what I do. I just make the best of whatever situation I got. If it's a bad situation, I think, well, what can I do? I got to do something. I got to gotta work through this. I've always thought hard work can cure everything. Stroker's Dallas merch, merch.com. It's not too late to get stuff for Christmas. The hoodies have been a big hit. Hats have been a big hit. We have, uh, let me show you what I can sign for you. I got some new cards that I sign and send out. See, that's a young Rick Fairless on uh, the Coors bike. That's me and Alice, my 75 shovel head, and Ruby, my 55 uh, two-door post in front of the store. So I'll sign these and send it with every order. I'm going to start doing that today. I just got these in yesterday. The hats, the hoodies, the t-shirts, shot glasses, stickers, decals, patches. We got pa patches in. We were out on patches. So you'll be happy to know I went to the doctor yesterday and I am taking an antibiotic. So should start feeling better in a couple of days. Uh, Saturday should get a pretty good crowd. It's supposed to be high 50s today. So I'm gonna leave you with this. You know, we all watched I Love Lucy. And when I was like 50, I was interviewing my mom on a radio show that I was doing. And I said, why did you name me Ricky? Because my legal name is Ricky. R-I-C-K-E-Y. I said, actually Joe T, my buddy Joe T was on the radio with me. And he said, why did you name him Ricky instead of Richard or whatever? And I said, she just liked the name. And mom said, no, I named you after somebody. And I said, what? Well, how am I 50 years old and I didn't know you named me after somebody? Who did you name me after? She said, there was a popular TV show when I said, do not tell me you named me after Ricky Ricardo. And she said, yep, I love that show. Well, did you know that Ricky Ricardo, on the very first season of I Love Lucy, he was going to be named Larry Lopez. But they didn't like the name Lucy Lopez. So one of the the camera guy suggested, ah, why don't we just call him Ricky Ricardo? And that, boys and girls, is the rest of the story. Would I have been called uh, Larry Fairless? All right, y'all come see me. Gotta go. Love you, bye. Bring your mall up here. Love you, bye.